An invasive species is something that's not native to the ecosystem that you're in. Invasive species, like mussels, impact all water facilities and usage. So when they take hold in a place they've not evolved, like Montana, they don't have any natural competition or checks and balances. So they end up becoming economically very harmful, environmentally very harmful. The challenge is we don't have an effective treatment once an infestation takes hold. So prevention is really the only course of action to keep these aquatic species out of our waterways. Invasive mussels in the water affect the infrastructure, your water delivery systems. In Montana in particular today, we're talking about impacts on irrigated agriculture. If the source of your irrigation water is infested, you now have to deal with keeping your water flow happening. And that's very expensive, like the pivot behind me. If the water source was infested with mussels, you would have the plugging, clogging, they actually can constrict water flow completely down in pipes. We don't want these to establish in our state. The economic impacts would be huge. The estimate is for doing a drip chloride copper sulfate type maintenance to keep these from being in your irrigation systems, they're looking at about $5.75 an acre foot of water for the treatment costs. That could double the cost of irrigated water. Plus, you've got that management headache of having to mitigate them. If you're bringing in an out-of-state contractor who's doing any sort of water work, if you're purchasing uh, previously used irrigation equipment, pipes, pumps, any of the assorted components for irrigation, if it's coming from somewhere that may have muscle infestations, treat it like it's a boat. Inspect it, clean it, drain it dry. And that way will prevent the establishment of these invasives that uh, we don't want here.